back to the NCC Emmys where we interview some of the most famous celebrities on campus. I'm CC Ndoku and today I will be speaking with a renowned photographer named Nicholas Racanello. Hello Nick. Now tell me, how long have you been passionate about photography? So um, I've been doing photography since um, I was in seventh grade and yeah I've been doing it since then. Great. And what is your favorite topic regarding photography? Well, I like to take pictures of um, buildings, like being in the city. I also like to take pictures of cars a lot. Lit. And regarding your camera, what type of camera is it and how long have you used it for? So I have a Sony a7 III now and I bought it um, last March. I've used many cameras from the time I started photography. Aside from photography, are you also interested in film? Yeah, so I do um, some videos. I prefer photography, but um, yeah. What remarkable answers. Now let, us take, now let us watch this innovative video that Nick made to demonstrate his powerful digital abilities. Set in Stamford, it takes place near the East River Valley. Hey everybody, my name is Nick Racanello. I'm 19 years old and um, I'm a photographer. Uh, I'm here today to show you guys some of my equipment, the cameras I shoot on, the lenses I use and um, just give you a rundown of how I get my shots and yeah so let's get into my equipment so this is my equipment right here I have um, the Blackmagic Design Pocket 4K Cinema Camera um, as you can see the screen is pretty big this is particularly a video camera I really only use this for video shoots and other video works and the lens on it is the 14 to 42. It's a Lumex um, wide angle zoom lens. So it covers a lot of ground. That's why I like using it for videos. And um, yeah. So the next camera I have here is the Olympus Mark IV. Um, on it is the Lumex 25 millimeter prime. This is obviously a lot smaller of a camera and um, I use this mainly for traveling, just on the go, just pick it up. It really fits in my pocket, so I could pretty much take this wherever, wherever I want. And um, this lens right here is the Olympus um, 40 to 150 zoom lens. So this is compatible with both these cameras. And um, the camera that I'm shooting on right now is the Sony a7 III with um, a 28 to 70 millimeter lens. So I will see you guys in the woods. We'll be shooting on the Sony a7 III and we'll see what we got. All right guys, we're back in the woods. We got the Sony a7 III right here and I just found this creepy old barn. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures of it and then we'll get moving. My Andes River Park in Stanford and we're at the East River Trail and the river is down over there and we're gonna go down there I'll tell you what I'm looking for and what kind of shots I want to take. So we're right next to the river over here um, basically what I'm looking for is something that I can put my camera on so I can take a, a long exposure and get the water coming downstream so I'm gonna look for something to set my camera up on and get that long exposure going. So I found this rock to put my camera up on Basically what my settings are is I have a really high aperture, it's f22 and um, my shutter speed is like about one eighth of a second and yeah so I'm going to keep my camera balanced on here, I'm just going to press the button as steady as I can 
and the edited picture should pop up. So we came a little bit upstream uh, to calmer waters and I'm gonna be looking for a reflection shot up here. So I would pretty much just keep my settings like a normal day, just adjust for the lighting. And um, yeah, you'll see how the reflection comes out in post. Walking through the woods and I just found this tree and it has a lot of engravings on it from people who have walked past this tree and obviously engraved their name into it. So I thought it would be a pretty cool picture over here with the water and all the trees in the background. So I'm going to just take a quick shot and we'll see how it comes out. So it took me um, two shooting days to make it, one for the intro, and then I made the part in the woods all in one day. It's cool. Well, Nick, thank you for showing us this informative and entertaining movie. Folks, that's all the time we have for today. Nick, thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for the next Norwalk Community, Community Press.